Greetings, YouTube. How is everybody doing out there today? Well, as you can see, I got my cabinet all laid out, all the parts laid out, and um, I'm going to uh, put this together. And I don't know if this is going to be a one video or two video. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you guys know how to do puzzles, you can do this. This is just a giant puzzle. They're not hard to put together. The only problem I'll, I have, and not all the time, sometimes all the parts ain't there. And first thing you guys need to do is when you do this, it's a little noisy in here. I'm sorry, I got my heat on. It's only it was 40 in here without heat, and it's like 24 outside. So, uh, what I always do, I always lay everything out so I can see everything. And one of the things I didn't see right away was my lock. And the lock's already in the door, and the keys are behind it on a, uh, they're behind it on a, uh, a zippy tie. So, um, it's pretty much self-explanatory what you always want to do. You always want to grab your owner's manual, and you want to look over everything, make sure you got all your parts. It seems like I got all my parts. So, let's get to it. I got to get a, uh, my impact gun. Well, actually, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my drill for now. And this thing comes together already. Pre got pre screws in it. You just line it up and screw it together. preset in these. So it's kind of hard to mess this up. And they, they're, they're in slots. They got slots. So you basically just find the holes. You just find the holes. Push it in the holes. And lock it. And just make sure you're even down here at the bottom. so good guys it's not that bad anything I don't like about it guys if you don't want your cat like all scratched up you're gonna have to find something soft to lay on maybe a blanket or something I don't really care about the back how often you see the back of your cabinet just usually when you're moving there or something Sometimes I don't go by the instruction, guys. I usually can figure it out. But I'll tell you what happens to me before. 
you look like you can go ahead on a step, and then you find out you really couldn't because it blocks it blocks the uh, the assembly of something else. All right, so them there all done. All right, now I got to get the top and the bottom on there. It's step by step, guys. I think there's 13 steps. It's not bad so far. Not bad. Here's the top of the cabinet. You can tell by your cobalt. There you go. It's got a channel, guys, so it locks in. It locks, it locks it in. This is this is a screw card that you get. These here are the screws you're going to use the most. These here are specialty screws, and I'm assuming I don't know yet. This is pan head screws. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. What they are. So another thing too, guys, when you put these together, you want to make sure that you can still see everything. You don't want to start opening everything up unless you lay it out in the suit. And you don't want to open everything up, get it all piled up here, there, everywhere, and then you wind up losing stuff. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I'm here we go. get real tight guys. I think they just they're just structured. They don't really get super tight. Because it feels like you, you over tighten them but you don't you're not. You're not over tightening them. Alright let's move on to the bottom now. This is your bottom. They're all marked too, guys. You got A, B, C, E. This one's E. This one's for the bottom. But the way you tell the bottom, you got these four holes right here. And these are for the feet. to your floor and where you want to put them. This guys, most of the time, floors are not even. Definitely in this shop, the floors are not even. Whoever, whoever uh, built, hey, my, my building ain't even square. I didn't build it, I inherited it. Like I've said many, many times, I inherited the building. So, did the best I could to straighten it out. I didn't do too bad. At least that's what people tell me. And it looks like this right here is going to do the same thing, guys. It 
What I like to do, guys, so I, I don't, you don't want to screw them all the way down, because you screw them all the way down, then you could have one heck of a time getting them back up, adjusting them, because once this cabinet goes together, it's pretty heavy. So what I do, I just go halfway, and then I wait until I get them where, I get the cabinet where I want it to go, and then I play with it from there. Same thing, this one here's got locking channels. It's got locking channels here. There's two here, one here, one here. And there's these little lips inside that it locks, locks into. Pretty easy. If it ain't locked in right, it ain't gonna line, in, line up right. And it's pretty easy. to hit it with your hand guys you shouldn't have to break out with some kind of rubber mallet or something you should be able to just whack it with your hands and it'll pop into place you don't want to hit it too hard because this metal ain't real thick you can put a dent in it real easy same thing you get six screws and they, they just go in until they spin guys that's it Screws. See, I got this longer bit. 
You'll either strip out your screws or you'll rub a spot on there from where you're drilling long enough. in there so you can bend it and fold it. What you want to do, you don't want to keep bending and folding this too much. You want to bend it one time and then get it together because if you bend it and fold it, you're going to break it. Then your, then your project is messed up. Okay, so this is part of the drawer. This is the back side to the drawer. So it's all pre-screwed, said just bend this up like this, like that. Now, you can tell which way the back of the drawer is by looking at your rail here. And the rail, the rail goes in like that, okay? So if you got your open end is the back of your drawer. So this right here is going to go on the back of the drawer, just like that. Then you just screw it down. Looks like it's gonna be screwed. You screw it from the inside. And it's got a lip too, guys. Make sure that lip is on the inside. That's for structural strength. And then it tells you on here what screws to use. It's the one they give you the most of. The four eight by ten. Four point eight by ten. This one you got the most screws on. together. 
And like I said, guys, just put your screws in there. Just pre-screw your screws in there until you get it all, until you get all your screws in there. That way it's not cockeyed. guys they screw the late night all right that one 
it's done, let's get this in there. All you do is just line the tracks up, guys. Line your tracks up. Make sure they go in about the same time. See how that starts sliding down in there. You don't want it to be cockeyed because if it gets cockeyed, you'll never get the drawers down in there. And you just push them and then they lock. There. It's locked. All right. The hard part is over. Position the shelves where you want. It's best to do it while it's out. Uh, this is the best way to do it you get them while they're out. Make sure you put the slide side down. That's what I was I did wasn't doing. Get in there, get a little cock out of it. Comes with three shells. shelves where you want them. I wonder what these two holes are for the side here. It's got two holes in the side there. But you can put the shelves where you want them. Oh, okay. There, there is locks up there. Okay. I didn't see them. Locks. There's locks on both sides. There's locks. You might have to get out. You gotta watch you guys. You can cut your finger like I almost did, or I did. Make sure you get a screwdriver. Yeah, I got my finger cut. Make sure you get a screwdriver and bend those tabs down, guys. Ain't no biggie. You're in the construction slash mechanic world, you cut your fingers all the time. Just take and put a screwdriver up there, bend that tab down. Those tabs are sharp, guys. And the tabs are up in here, you can't see them with your naked eye. Alright. Nothing 
bet it, guys, once you get it up, once you get it up right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stand it up right now. So I'm pretty much done with it. Make sure your drawer is good. The drawer is good. And it's got a secondary drawer on top of it. Alright. That's good. What I do is make sure it's locked in the back and I pull it forward. Slide it down in front and makes it tight. There we go. All right. I got my DNA all over. <laughs> that blood off there. Blood, sweat, and tears, guys. That's my blood. I'm sweating, but I ain't crying because so far so good. And it looks like the cabinet doors, guys. They're push pin. They're push pin. So, put the bottom line lined it up. Make sure it's where it belongs. Push the pin down. You're probably going to need a screwdriver or something real thin to push that down in there. And it's got like an O ring. An uh, O-ring in there. Hold on, I'm going to get something thinner than this. You're going to need something thin, guys, to do it with. Uh, probably a five-way. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. You don't need nothing. This right here, that right there, you just pull that down and it'll release the door. That's all you need, guys. That's all you need. So, what I do is. sure you can tell if it ain't lined up right of course my floor's off that's why it's doing this but it's still make sure that it locks if it don't lock you got your off somewhere I like these keys because they bend so you gotta worry about breaking the key off I guess the drawers don't lock. Huh. I 
against the door on Fox. Let me see. Let me look inside here. Yeah, the drawer don't lock, guys. Or does it? Let me see. No. So the drawer stays open, the cabinet's the only thing locks, which I think that stinks. Because it's only got it's only got this one rod here, guys. Close it. Turn it halfway. And your cabinet's locked. But I think that stinks. You can't lock.